Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. We're sitting here once again with Thomas. We wanted to have a dialogue today of proving stem cell therapy safe, which, as everybody knows, is a very important part of the process whenever you're trying to get anything approved. First off, Thomas, how are you doing today? Excellent, Michael. How are you? I'm doing pretty well, doing pretty well indeed. But can you tell people what goes into proving these therapies safe? What do you have to do and tell us the process they have to go through? Sure. So the first thing that people should realize is that uh, ACP is an autologous stem cell. It means it comes from your own body. We draw it from your blood. And uh, the, the route to prove uh, safety and efficacy is dictated by the, the FDA and Health Canada. So you, first you go through an animal study, then uh, an investigator-led study that's typically called phase one then a blind study that's called phase two, and then a, a, a double blind placebo controlled trial uh, that, that being, and that can be done in phase two and phase three. Um, but to prove safety, you, uh, you know, you, each recipient gets a dose of ACP and you report any adverse events uh, along the way. And I've, happy to report that um, you know in the in all of the studies of ACP we have not had any adverse safety events related to ACP there have been adverse events related to non-related uh, issues but while the while the patient has had ACP but that not none no adverse events related to ACP. Wonderful. Yes. And you, you bring up a really good point when you mentioned just other adverse effects. It's important to remember that, that people are still living people or complex organisms and things can go wrong. This is very commonly what happens with multiple types of medications or vaccines, injections. People, something will happen to somebody and they'll, they'll instantly correlate it with, with, oh, well, they just got this. But it's important to remember that that's trends with data that have to set those correlations, not just anecdotal one-off things. Yes, absolutely. Very true. All right, Thomas. Well, thank you for explaining that. Is there anything else you want to add? Well, I think the, uh, again, I think this is an opportune time for uh, investors to pick up shares in, in hemostemics, H-E-M, H-M-T-X-F, um, to VFO in Frankfurt. It's, uh, uh, you know, the company's undervalued. Wonderful. All right, Thomas, thank you for coming on. Thank you everyone for watching. You have any questions about hemostemics, the stock or anything, let us know. We'll dive into that, no problem, and stay tuned. We'll get you some more news over the wire as soon as we can. Thomas, thank you for coming on. Have a great day, Michael.